Good morning. I'm Faye Thompson. This morning we're going to do a chicken spaghetti recipe. And it's kind of long drawn out, so we tried to do all the prepared stuff ahead of time. First of all, we're going to take a, a skillet, put a little olive oil in the bottom. I don't measure this, just kind of cover the bottom good. And we're going to cook okay. two cups of celery. And then we're going to have one cup of onions. And one cup of bell pepper. And we're just going to cook this a little until it gets tender. After we get this brown, we're going to put it in a Dutch oven and add some other ingredients to it. And we'll cook it about 30 minutes. And then we... We'll be cooking our spaghetti, and we'll add spaghetti and cheese and olives to it. We'll put it in a casserole and cook it for an hour. So this recipe takes a little while. This is also a recipe that my sister-in-law gave me several years ago, Joanne Thompson. And she was a good cook. She passed away several months ago, and I really miss her because we talked every week. She liked to do a lot of the same things I did. We loved to go to the antique shops and, and shop. She liked that too, so sometimes we'd get together and just spend the whole day doing that. Okay, we're going to take this over to the Dutch oven and we're going to mix the other products. Now we're going to put this celery and onion and pepper that we've cooked over in this Dutch oven. And now we're going to add our Chicken, we have six cups of rotisserie chicken. Now you can uh, cook a hen or whatever you want, whatever chicken you want to cook. But we're going to use a Hunt's Petite Diced Tomatoes and we're using uh, four cups. Four cups of tomatoes, two cans of tomato sauce. And we're using the Hunt's Tomato Sauce. one tablespoon of chili powder, four tablespoons of Worcester sauce. We're going to put a little salt and pepper to taste. I'm just guessing it is, so I think. Of course, you know I like my stuff pretty heavily seasoned. What we do is put this on the stove and let it simmer for 30 minutes. We're going to add a, a small can, four ounces of mushrooms. What I did, I took them out of the can and chopped them up a little bit. I like mine chopped up a little bit more. Okay, that's ready to cook now for 30 minutes. We're going to be cooking our spaghetti while we're waiting for that to simmer 30 minutes. Uh, we have two quarts of water, and we're going to add two cups of chicken broth. And this chicken broth that I save out of some of my cooking. Now we're going to put our spaghetti. we got our water and chicken broth boiling. I like to break my spaghetti up and keep it being so messy. You can just take it and break it before you put it in the pot. I broke it in two different pieces. So now we have that cooking. And we'll cook that for about 10 minutes. I'm going to chop these olives that we're going to add later up a little bit. Uh, use my little kitchen toy. I love this thing, it's so handy. Our spaghetti is ready now. I'm going to take it over to the colander and drain it. We're going to mix our spaghetti in now. Six ounces of black olives. This is sharp cheddar cheese and there's four cups of it. I have a friend that's sick in Earl, Jimmy Barham, and I'm going to fix part of this casserole I'm going to take to her. My granddaughter asked me what the difference was in Pam and Joy. This is just like you would take butter or shortening or anything. It just makes it a lot easier to just spray on. And your Joy has a flour base, just like we used to, and some people still do it. You grease your baking pan, and then you sprinkle flour in it. Well, if you use Joy, you don't have to do that. 
but I don't use joy for something like this. I only use it in a when I'm making cakes or something that needs to have a flour base to it. I think we have that mixed well enough. It had to keep stirring it because the cheese in it was melting. I'm going to get a little pan that I use all the time. It's ugly as everything, but that's the handiest little thing I ever had in the kitchen, I think. This goes in a 250 degree oven for one hour, and I'm gonna cover it with foil. Learn the foil pan, so I meant to say. Now we got our oven preheated at 250 degrees, and we're gonna cook this for one hour. I hope all of you try this recipe, and I hope you enjoy it as much as we do, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.